Today on Reschooled, we continue our capture quest and check out some cool apps. Welcome to Reschool, the show that teaches you the tips and techniques for effectively integrating technology into your classroom. I'm your host, Lonnie Harbour. Hey, I got an email. Hi Lonnie, is screen capturing the same thing as lecture capturing? If so, do I use Screencast-O-Matic for capturing? Thanks, Randy. Yes. Yes. And no. Sort of. It depends, really. If you're only wanting to capture your voice along with the visual presentation like a PowerPoint or a Prezi, then screen capture is the way to go. Getting started with Screencast-O-Matic is quick and easy because you don't have to have an account. Just click Start Recording and you're ready to go. Once initiated, you can see the bounding box around the screen and the Screencast-O-Matic logo in the middle. Dragging the bounding box allows you to resize the screen capture. Opening a PowerPoint or website allows you to add narration that students can use later. Once you press record in the corner down here, it's go time. So now my presentation has started. And this presentation is brought to you by Grammar Bytes. It's a grammar presentation. Wait, I thought it was supposed to be a grammar presentation. So now I can start scrolling through my slides. Misplace modifier. Should I put my modifier at the beginning or the end? Who knows? So once I've gone through all my slides, click Done at the bottom. From here you'll have options to save your screencast to Screencast-O-Matic if you have an account where you can publish it to your YouTube channel or I can publish the video file which means I can save it to my computer which is what I'll do now. It gives you a couple of formats so once you decide the format you want just click Save Video type in the name. Once saved you can post your video on any of your video channels or embed it into your school website or blog. But if you want to capture you or your students engaged in a lesson or activity, then you're going to need one of these. Plug in your webcam to an available USB port. Wait for the camera to install. Then position the camera and you're ready to go. Equal to negative three. So we see that our ordered answer pair is 12 from our x and negative 3 from the y. Nerd! <sighs> Was there something? Nope. I need to check. And if you are capturing you or your students, you should probably edit your video before posting. Screen or lecture capturing is one great way to put the focus of learning back on the students. And here's two more apps for your iPad or Android tablet to help you do that. ScreenChomp's functionality is a step above Show Me as that it allows you to create three pin presets of color and size which allows swapping between pins to happen much more quickly. However, Show Me provides you with the Discover link that gives you access to other Show Me users' screencasts that you can download and share. Now what I can do now is I can count up each individual red dot that I have and find the answer, or I can do 8 plus 8 plus 8 seven times. These are just a couple of the great web tools available for engaging your students in learning and for taking your classroom and flipping it. As for the web camera, this is a great tool for taking your classroom 
and flattening it. The flipping and the flattening. Find out more about this Web 2.0 thing by following me on twitter.com forward slash Lonnie Harper and send your classroom specific emails about web tools you would like for me to show you about to reschool at gmail.com. Until next week, go teach something. Screen or lecture capturing are two great... Oh, I have to stop playing on the keys. <clears throat> Start over. Screen or lecture capturing is a... Did that sound right? Screen or lecture... Lecture... Lecture capturing. Lecture? Anyways. Screen or lecture capturing are two great ways... Or there's really just one though, right? Okay. Sorry, no. Screen capturing or lecture. <laughs> Screen or lecture capturing is one great way to put the focus of learning back on the students, making them responsible for bringing me a soda.